Happy Monday. Happy post Mother's Days to all the mommies out there. And this Facebook Live, may, it may sting a little bit. And it's okay if it does because it's what you need to hear. So it may sting. It may be difficult to digest. But I want you guys being open to this. And so I thought about this for a little while and why people are, are losing money in network marketing. So if you're jumping on, uh, hi, Carrie, Hugo, Wendy, Don, Amy, please say hi and where you're coming in from. And if you can hear me loud and clear after saying hi, throw me some hearts, throw me some thumbs, any emoji that I know that you know I can see flying up through the screen except no angry faces. So I know you guys can hear me loud and clear. And again, for those that share this content uh, or tag three teammates. So if you share this or tag three teammates, use the hashtag I tagged or I shared, and I will send you a free gift a little bit later from me today. So um, for those that are jumping on, as you're doing, say hi and where you're coming in from. Um, ha hearts, some thumbs, some wow faces, just so I know you guys are hearing me loud and clear. Love it. Um, so again, what I'm going to go over with you guys today are the three exact reasons why. The three exact reasons why your network marketing business is not making money, or if it once was making money, the income is starting to go backwards. So let me ask you guys first, number one, are you happy? Hi, Eileen. Are you happy with where your business is? Type Y or yes or N or no if you are happy or if you are not happy with where your business income is right now. And this is a trick question. And I'm going to see if anybody catches on. So why or yes, if you are happy and or no, if you're not happy with where your business is right now, because this is key. And you guys need to understand that there are a few reasons why your business is not making any money or it's starting to go backwards. And we're going to talk about that today. So if you're coming on, say hi and where you're coming in from. As Carrie has done, throw me some hearts, some thumbs, some wow faces, just so I know you guys can hear me loud and clear. Say hi and where you're coming in from. And if you share this or tag three teammates in the comments section below, use the hashtag I shared or I tagged, and I will send you a little gift later to download from me today. So if you are happy with where your business is, or if you're not happy where your business is, type Y or yes or N or no in the chat box. And this is important because um, my business can always improve. Exactly. So that, that's the big thing is that everyone's business can always improve. So, so here's the deal. Um, in network marketing, the reason why people are not creating the income that they deserve, number one, is that they are still just using Facebook and Instagram. Right now, the, one of the main reasons why people's businesses are not growing is because they're still using Facebook and Instagram only. Now, Facebook and Instagram, for those that don't know, the age demographic is 18 to 29 with a yearly income of $30,000 a year or less, and you're only allowed 5,000 friends on Facebook. If you are going to only use Facebook and Instagram for your business, you have a 0.00% chance of building a successful and sustainable multiple six and seven figure business. Because what Facebook and Instagram produce, what Facebook and Instagram produce is product users. And Carrie, if you can share this 
actually on your personal timeline or a team page um, or tag those people in the chat box below, that, that would be much better. So again, Facebook and Instagram will never produce you business builders and, and this is why. So people are frustrated with why their businesses aren't growing because they're still using Facebook and Instagram thinking that Facebook and Instagram are the best places to build a business. Now, that's not to say that you're not going to get enrollments from Facebook and Instagram, which you may, but you have to think about why people are saying yes. So if you're leading with a product, enrolling people on a product, you're making the business a non-discussion because this is an emotionally charged business. So it, in, in all reality, if you're not using LinkedIn right now, it's not me just saying it. Gary Vaynerchuk is, is saying it. Um, Jessica Johnston, who was at uh, a major, major network marketing event last week, said you know, one of the, the top corporate people in the company said to her, if you had 45 minutes to prospect a day to build your business, where would you spend your time? And she said, LinkedIn, not Facebook, not Instagram, because you have to understand 30 to 55 is the age category, a hundred thousand dollars a year or more of income, and you're allowed 30,000 connections. So the law of numbers are in your favor. So number one, if you're just using Facebook and Instagram only, that is why your business is not growing. Now, number two, the number two reason why your network marketing business is losing money and going backwards is you are enrolling too many product users and not enough business first enrollments. So you have way too many product users that don't want to do anything besides just use the products or share this with their parakeet and dog and that's it. Just they share it with two people, they get the consultant and they stop and you're not enrolling enough business first enrollments. So if you are someone, if you are someone that feels that you are having too many, too many product users compared to business builders, type a Y or yes in the chat box or give me some hearts and thumb emojis so I can see them start to fly up so I, I know you guys are resonating this. So Y or yes in the chat box and some emojis, some thumbs, some hearts, some wow faces. If you feel that you have way too many product users compared to the amount of business builders that you want, Don said yes. So the fact is, is that if, if you continue, if you continue to just enroll product users, again, product users do a few things. Number one, they use the products. Now, how consistently do they use the products? It's completely up to them. But a product user will only do that. They will use the products. It's great to have happy customers. But if you want to build a business, you need to be leading with the business at the same time. Because if you enroll someone for the products and then say, oh, by the way, there's a great business here, you're making the business an oh, by the way statement. And that's exactly how they're going to treat it. Now, again, don't complain about where your business is not because it just means you're not doing anything wrong. You're just not doing enough of the right things. So if you're constantly posting things about your products, you know, you're, if, if you're using Facebook to just post pictures of your shakes and your products, you're not going to build a business. You're going to build a customer list, which is fine, but you have to understand what people say yes to is the reason what they are or are not going to do. So if they say yes to a product and they're not spoken to about a business or if it's secondary, that's how they're going to treat it. And the other thing is this, even if you have a product user cross the bridge and say, you know what? Yes, I want to build. And you tell them how to build, you know, obviously just uh, enroll two people. Great. But then what? The fact is, is that people, number one, are only still using Facebook and Instagram. That's it. They're not doing anything else. They're posting and praying, scrolling and trolling, inboxing and Facebook messaging the same people over and over and over again, expecting something different to return. And this is why people's businesses are going backwards and they're losing money because they are unwilling to break the habits of what they learned three, four, five, six years ago. And number two, 
you are still addicted to enrolling too many product users and not enough business first enrollments. It is okay, I'm giving you guys permission to talk about the business first. So anyone that goes to a corporate event, anyone that crosses the stage at a corporate event to get recognized, they are not product users. They are business builders who believe in the product that they consume. A product user that is just gonna use product isn't gonna say, you know what? I think I'm gonna fly across the country to that corporate event I keep seeing people wanting to go to and spend a couple thousand dollars on hotel, airfare, this, that, or the other. The people that show up at those events are the ones that wanna build a business. So number two, you're enrolling too many product users and not enough business first enrollments. Plain and simple. Number three, you haven't replaced your original people and not showing them how to earn income. This is big. George, welcome, Chris, Kale, Stephanie, good to see you guys jumping on. So again, if you're just jumping on, say hi and where you're coming in from, give me some hearts, some thumbs. Um, and again, if you share this or tag three teammates, I will send you a free gift later from me today for doing so. If you missed anything, and you're on the replay, use the hashtag replay. And if you do share and you do tag, use the hashtag I tagged, I shared, and I'll send you something. Now, number one, you're still just using Facebook and Instagram. Number two, you're enrolling too many product users and not enough business first enrollments. And number three, you haven't replaced your original people and not showing them how to earn income. And that's the thing. What you have to understand is that everyone is replaceable. In network marketing, no one puts in their two weeks notice that they're going to quit. They just sneak out the back door. So no matter how into it someone on your team may seem, they're ready to quit at any given day. Because again, you can lead them the best that you can. You can offer them the best trainings, the best support, the best knowledge. But they are one bump in the road from quitting because they don't care that it's your business, that it builds your income. Everyone is always worried about themselves. So you have to be in the state of mind and the mindset to meet everyone where they are, pour into those that want to be poured into, but look to replace every single person. When, when you get to a certain level in your business, you can't be happy there because you may have four or five people building right now, but two years down the road, you don't know if they're still gonna be there. So you always have to look to replace the current people. If that makes sense, type Y or yes in the chat box. Because I want you guys to understand, because there's a big thing that I want you to take away from this. You know, is LinkedIn the cure-all for all of this? Yes, yes. Is it, is it gonna cure the problem for not having new contacts? Yes, because you can have 30,000. Is it gonna cure the fact that you're not talking to people with the right money mindset. Yes, because those people make $100,000 a year more. Is it gonna cure the fact that you're not having enough business first conversations? Yes, because you can lead with the business and close with the products on LinkedIn. So it does cure all the problems that most network marketers have. Not having enough calls, not having enough appointments, posting and praying, scrolling and trolling, and reaching out to the same people every single day. Here's the big thing. When you guys enroll people into your business, one of the most important aspects of, of what you need to do is you need to show those people how to make money. Showing them how to make money is not showing them how to enroll people to get a product introductory bonus. That's not residual income. That is a bonus, which means if they're not enrolling people every single week, every single month, every single year, that money's gonna go away. You can have someone enroll three people in one week, and if they're not enrolling anyone the next week, guess what, they're not earning income because product users, again, they will only use the products every 30 days if they're consistent, which means the volume to create the residual income is only coming into your account every 30 days, which means you're not cycling. So the people that you do have that wanna build a business, it is your responsibility it is your due diligence to show them how to build deep. Most people are teaching their teams how to build straight across. Just enroll people on the products and you know what, eventually they're gonna start sharing, which isn't the case. 
if you want to build a team, you have to focus on the product users, meet them where they are. If they're ready to cross the bridge, they do. But you have to do your due diligence to make sure that one person a month is strictly for the business because the people that are in it for the business are the ones that are going to grow the roots. The roots are the people that are going to come in after they enroll and then they're going to start enrolling and they're going to start enrolling and, they're, and that's how you build deep. Most people are having their income start to diminish or get cut in half because the people that were once sharing are not anymore because they were not making the money. So I, I had an interesting conversation with a buddy of mine, James Hendricks, not Jimmy Hendricks, James Hendricks, who, who's been in network marketing for 25 years. And he said this, he said, a business is flawed if, and you're not maximizing your company's compensation plan, is if you don't have three to five people making 50 to 60% of what you're making. So let me give you an example. So if you're making $100,000 a year in your network marketing business, for you to grow a sustainable business, you have to have three to five people that are making 50 to $60,000 a year residually. That's how you know you're building a good business. Now, if you are making all the money and you have about five, six, seven people that are building under you and they're making just a couple thousand dollars a year, you're not building a good business. And you're also not showing those people the proper way of how to build. You don't build through enrolling a ton of product users. You build by enrolling people that are interested in an opportunity that starts with the product experience and they're gonna do the same. Business first, product first. You lead with the business, the business starts with consuming a product or using a good a product or a service. If that makes sense, type Y or yes in the chat box. And my friends, these are the three reasons why people are not making money in network marketing. These are the three reasons why most people are now starting to lose money because they're doing the same thing every single day, expecting something to change. Listen, this whole misnomer of being an influencer on social media, there's no such thing. There's no such thing as being, if you're in network marketing, you're not an influencer. You, you're just an inspired person. You're a motivated person. Influencers are people like the Kardashians who have multi-million dollar brands, billion dollar brands. Network marketing, you are partnering with a company. The network marketing company is the influencer. You're basically the salesperson for it, but I will say this. If you're going to use Facebook and Instagram to support the products that you've partnered with, you are basically just a sales representative. The way that you can create the biggest influence and affluence and impact on yourself and those in your networks is on a platform like LinkedIn, where you have your own voice. You can impact people in a different way, and you are the product, you are the good, you are the service, you are the opportunity. You just happen to have a great company that you partnered with. So the fact of the matter is this. Number one, your income is not growing or is going backwards because number one, you are still using Facebook and Instagram only. Number two, you're enrolling too many product users and not enough business first enrollments. And number three, you haven't replaced your original people and not showing them how to earn income. Plain and simple, get on LinkedIn. If you don't know how to use it, I can show you. If I have shown you and you're not using it, get back on there because it is a gold mine. It is waiting for you to succeed. Guys, again, like or love the video, uh, tag three teammates, share this, use the hashtag I tagged or I shared. I will send you guys a free link later. And again, I still am having a contest for my book, Anyone that has purchased it before or purchase it today and they take a screenshot of their order or the book they have, post it on social media, tag me in it, I will be announcing three winners tonight for three great prizes, headphones by Beats by Dre uh, and two different coaching programs. So all you have to do is take a screenshot of your order, your book, post it on social media, tag me in it and you're involved and I'll be announcing the winners at seven o'clock. Love you all so much. Have a great rest of your day and I will see you next time. Bye, everybody.